everybody. I've got a mini session that I'm doing for a client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay, says, hey Abby, I would love my living room to feel much lighter, a more joyful and even cheerful space of enjoying to be in. It would be great if you could connect Mary Magdalene with it too. Oh, oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to focus on your living room. We're going to attune your living room to Mary Magdalene energy and, and really spruce it up on the cheerfulness. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I see in the distance there's a room and there's a really massive levitating yellow lemon in the center of it. And I will say there's, as I'm moving towards this, I'm, I'm breaking down walls. Literally, I'm, I'm dissolving. There's a lot of energy walls, so it's hard for me to actually get into your living room. So we'll understand more about that here in a minute. So what's interesting here is your living room is also like your heart. So breaking down the walls within your heart um, is paralleling to breaking down the walls in your living room. So you, you are protecting yourself or from being hurt or protecting yourself from people entering that you don't want to enter. That kind of energy is here. I'm going to bring Mary Magdalene in and see what she has to say. She's pointing out the lemon in the center. Let's uh, ignore the walls for now. Man, the more I look at this lemon, it's almost like a planet in a way, a odd shaped planet. It makes me want to cry. Not because it's sour. It just makes you want to cry, and it makes you want to cry inside my heart. I also feel that there's an ugliness to it. Almost like it's got all these um, craters. Something gross and ugly. I mean, the energy says um, gross and ugly. And it, it shows me all these dimples and craters and like it's a face full of acne or something. It's just a massive lemon levitating, okay? Mary Magdalene is showing me the taste of this lemon is extremely sour. It would be hard for anybody to digest it. <laughs> and maybe not digest it, but put it on their tongue for sure. It's worse than a sour warhead. <laughs> it's like seriously sour. Intolerably sour. So we're going to ignore the walls of the lemon, which has a peel, okay? And we're going to go into the lemon. She's showing me a memory that I have myself of an experience or a challenge in my own life. And it ta it's like I, I had described it to myself as an amazing, refreshing glass of lemonade but it's too sour for me to enjoy it. And there was a spirit guide that had come and had like this jar of sugar, it was what it was like, but it was some sort of powder. It had absolutely no flavor to it. And the guide had told me to pour it in and stir it up and then try. So I did and I tasted it and it, it was totally neutralized. So it's almost like the extremes of the sour were neutralized by an illusion. That's the oddest part about it. And so she's talking to me about how do we neutralize the sourness of this lemon. And I'm thinking about the odd powder. It was almost like an idea that was so easy. All you had to do was create an image or an idea um, and then mix the idea with what was intolerable and then let the idea neutralize it. And it worked. It was so strange. 
I know that may be confusing. I'm supposed to tell you this, okay? I'll let you digest that however you want. But me just talking about it, me just talking about my relationship with a lemonade that was really sour, just talking about neutralizing, is already giving it permission to neutralize itself. And it's letting its guard down and it's saying, I want to be exposed and I'm so sick of being this. And it's like, and I'm not gross and I'm not ugly and I'm not a sour lemon and I don't have walls up. I mean, you're literally coming out of the lemon. It's you. You're like a bad seed in the lemon or something, but you're not a bad seed and you're not a sour lemon and you're not gross, okay? And you're breaking down the barriers. It's pretty cool. Mary Magdalene is nodding. And she's proud of you because you are breaking down barriers. And now, as this is all happening, your living room is suddenly pouring in with fresh air and rain. The energy of rain and fresh air. It's, it's not, it's like, not like the human world that starts raining inside, like, crap, all my furniture is being destroyed. No, this is purifying. This is great. Your living room is thirsty. It needs the water, all right? So it's really, it's, it's um, really filling your living room with purifying, refreshing energy. It actually feels like you want to relax and sit down in here and just stretch and wind down and maybe have a glass of lemonade <laughs> and just be proud of yourself for sure. So cool. It's so cool. It's really bright, beautiful energy. Hmm. Thank you very much. This was a really nice experience. Thank you for sharing. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Thank you all. Have a beautiful day.